all right guys what is going on what is good with everybody welcome back to another dragon ball z dokkan battle video and before we do get started with everything we have to talk about today guys make sure you go down below and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already leave a like as well and before i forget sub to the homies as well today we have i'm scythe and speedy ssj say what's up guys what's up guys my name is juan scythe Anyway. So if you got calm down there, buddy. For real. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like he just he just took it too far. Hey, a, a little bit. It's it's all good though. So Speedy, tell him what we're here to talk about today, my boy. Okay, so we just got some news and info on um, Global, Global or JP. I don't know which one this, uh, this JP. is, bro. Yeah, JP. So the Dragon Ball Super Space Survival Edition or the Universe Survivor Tournament arc is returning on the sixth, and there's a new in quotations quest banner coming i don't know what that means so yeah like what i take from that guys um new events coming you know like new stages and everything like that there could be and that's pretty much you know the premises of what we're here to talk about today there could be some rebirths coming with all of this as well what do you think scythe well what i wanted to talk about is earlier when i want to say this is that right now what it's happening on dragon ball super if we correlate to right now uh they haven't really showed ultra and goku fight that much into his like you know his perfected form as much as you know also jiren's like uh perfected form as well yeah. um so i would assume that right now they're gonna basically awaken the units that we've already gotten from the universal seven survival arc yeah that's what i was I gonna oh, say like, well. mean like android 17 yeah yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah all the yep. um all the tournament of power units yeah but even at the same time, if they don't do that, and this is something that I thought about as well, even if they don't awaken, you know, all of the other Tournament of Power units, you know, Bergamo, Topo, all of them, I can see them awakening, you know, the Universe 7, uh, Universe 7 Saiyans. I can definitely see that with this. The Universe 7 Saiyans? Yeah, Which like, ones? Uh, Kefla, I mean, oh, not, Kefla, yeah, Kefla Kalifla, yeah. Kale, all those. I can, I can definitely oh. see that coming. Oh, uh, real quick, real quick. So I want to ask you guys a quick question. So right now, well, they only use metals uh, for, let's say this, for when there's a, what's it called? Uh, Dokkan, uh, Dokkan, Dokkan, Dokkan. When it's like a special type of banner. Mm -hmm. When units are basically featured on that banner and they only come around that banner specifically unless like they get on um, featured on another banner. Yeah. Dokkan Fest units. They they get their own special events, right? That's what Where you they get their of. own medals. <laughs> yeah. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Just spare yeah. with me. Bear with me. <laughs> So they get their own events. So now Kefla, Khalifa, and Kale didn't really have like you know a banner. Like they're on every single um, banner. Uh, would they basically have? I think um, Khalifa and Kale had their own banner. So did Kefla. Uh, yeah, but aren't yeah. they in every single? They, aren't they in every single banner though? Uh, they're not Dokkan no, Fest No, no. So Kefla wouldn't Kefla. so the quest banner that they're mentioning wouldn't that be like they're adding new stages to it? So wouldn't they add new metals to basically awaken those units yeah so that's, that, what that's that another thing that i was going to talk about as well with these new stages i can also see them um adding new metals that need to be farmed up you know you know uh putting a, a hell of a lot of training items and everything like that um metals in particular to awaken the i don't like i said i don't know if they're going to awaken all of the tournament of power units but you know as far as those three in particular the sands i can definitely see that and i can definitely see them adding the metals to you know awaken those units as well because i don't think it's just going to be some the way that this game is going they're getting a lot more uh you know concise and detailed with how we have to do certain things so i doubt that there's gonna uh make us run an event or something like that you know like a specific stage or what's the word i'm looking for uh I guess a Dokkan event. I, I don't see them adding a Dokkan event in particular for these units right now, at least. But as far as this quest banner and adding new stages to that, I can definitely see them adding the medals for those units. Maybe not Kefla, but Kel and Kalifa, yes. I can also see uh, new cards being added as well from all the universes, like two. Maybe we can see Ribrianne or maybe a new ah. ultimate Gohan from the Tournament of Power. I know people hate to see Ribrianne, <laughs> but you know it's, it's going to happen, bro. It's not going to be a moneymaker, though. It's not. No, definitely not. Now, I a mean, new ultimate go on. Yeah. Unless it's, it's Scythe, bro. Scythe loves their BM, bro. Yeah, I agree. Bro, I love, bro, I love. He uh, talks about our own time. Thick. For me? Thick what? with two C's, right? Is that how the kids oh, say it? Oh, my God. This man. Two this L's. Man oh, two. <laughs> That's just Scythe. <laughs> bro, I had a W into that, bro. Oh. So, so I'm done. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> bro. But on, on further notice, though, like I'm thinking about what do you guys what are you guys thinking right now? Like for tomorrow, let's say today, what kind of other news do you think might drop with this too? You guys have like any? You guys haven't thought outside the box out of this? I don't think we're gonna get uh, Ultra Instinct news yet. I feel like they're saving that after episode one thirty. 
yeah. which is on March 17th, and then March 18th they're gonna drop it because all the banners on JP and Global end on March 18th. There'll be nothing after that. Oh. Yeah, there will definitely be something on JP. Definitely, um, Global. You know, they're getting Angel, Golden, Freezer coming up, Bojack, all that stuff. But as far as JP, they could drop anything on us right now. We don't have Jiren. Period. We don't have Ultra Instinct Goku's Awakening. We don't have uh, Ultra Blue Vegeta, whatever the fuck that's called. Kefla doesn't have a Dokkan Awakening yet. Kale and Cauliflower are still, you know, without rebirths. Even though that, um, like I said, you know, the reason I can definitely see them uh, doing this. The tournament of power, uh, that <laughs> that that link in itself is pretty much like the rebirth link. So I don't see any reason for them not to capitalize on this right now, especially you know with bro, the hype building up. This, bro, come on, bro. But they like, can at least take important. this one step at a time. Like, don't just give us gaps of dead periods to you know make the game lose bro, its hype. You know how much money they would have made if they released uh, Master of Trance and Goku yesterday? Exactly. You it know, been like, crazy. everybody been was super hyped about it. Especially made. Speedy. He even tweeted me. And, you know, what happened with that? Bro, I told you, bro. I, bro, I didn't look at the <laughs> banners. All right? Listen, 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 okay? So, the banner is on the 18th. Mm -hmm. It's coming on the 18th. Yeah. Watch. Okay. Well, let me ask you guys something. So, as you guys see on Global, they've actually been pushing out all the uh, survival arc, basically, uh, characters out already. Yeah. We, I think we have we have all of them, right, on Global 2? All the survival arc characters? Yes. So, what do you guys think about that? Like, do you guys think they might correlate? They're going to drop them on both versions if they yeah. drop them. Yeah. There's no reason why to wait uh, on, a ver on a version of the game. Dude, if they it's wait on Global, them. they're not getting this card until, like, October. Guaranteed. They do this now, and it'll basically it'll pop up global even for, like right now it'll pop no, up because, at because the on a uh, global Ultra Instinct Goku has been out for three months now, so there's no reason to wait longer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that would be drop stupid Kefla. because if they don't drop him, then he's not coming until like towards the end of the year, like without a doubt. Yeah, hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, okay, but I mean, like at the same time, though, uh, what was I about to say? What are, what, are, what do you guys think they're gonna do with all the you know the ultra blue shit and stuff like that? Because we've heard nothing about that, no the leaks, ultra anything. Blue? Yeah, like the blue new Vegeta? Vegeta, yeah. That that's that's a very hyped card in itself. Like that's a that would be its own Adokan Fest exclusive. It's so hyped yeah, with you know no hype. You know how we had it. the Int Vegeta? Yeah. You know how we had the Int Vegeta? I feel like it's gonna be the same thing. I don't know about that, Speedy. What, what do you guys think about this though? Bro, it's Vegeta. People summon for Vegeta. Hold on. What, what do you guys think about this though? Now I know this has pretty much been thrown out of the window, but if the new Ultra Instinct, if the Mastered Ultra Instinct is a new card in itself. Do you, do you guys think that they're going to give them the same name as the Int one just so you can't run them both on the same team? No. No, I feel like one's going to be called Mastered Ultra Instinct and one's going to be called Ultra Instinct. I feel like they do some dirty shit like that, though. That that sign is very... Uh, that's very particular. Uh, uh, yeah, that's very yeah, particular. It's, it's, I mean, it's Banda. Of course, they're going to do it. but They're going to do like some big stuff, don't. but I don't know what yet. Like, they could... I mean... They could, if they wanted to, they could make another card. Okay, so let me ask you guys this. I, I know I've spoke about this before, and I'm pretty sure you guys have already done this too. What if they do take the route into making this, uh, like into an LR, like an, another card no, into an LR? No, you don't no think way. so? If they do that, they're no. definitely gonna have the same name. Definitely, because mm. they would, they would have they perfect go with links. The mechanic uh, of how LR Vegito and LR Gogeta are doing. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, fusion mechanic. Know. Yeah. Oh, that would be so dope. Like, let's say he just turns into Master Ultra Instinct if you get like below this uh, HP. Wait, what do you think like, the threshold for that would be? Bro, I hope it's not HP restricted. I really don't. Like <laughs> maybe like turns. There's no way it wouldn't be though. What if it's like how much damage you take? You take this amount of damage, so then basically you turn into this. Or are you talking like a one shot mechanic or something like that? Not, not in that sense, but um, um let's what, say what the damage is more. Like you take like two hundred k. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Forth. Let's say that. Yeah. Okay. But then you'd nah, be I'm... restricted on what teams you could run for that card too. Uh no, because mm, I mean, defensive wise, you know, your defense can't be too high, so the leader. Yeah, turn a full team of seven men, bro. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, you can do that. <laughs> do that. Why not? I don't know, man. I I'm excited to see what they do with it. As far as you know, a uh, time span, like Speedy said, I. I don't know, man. This is this is a weird period right now because it could happen. We could get a data download for that tonight, you know, something in-game for that. Or they could wait until the middle of next week, which is what seems to be more likely right now. 
Bay and I like to itch our balls, bro. Like they're like this man. Come here. <laughs> trying to have a professional video on this man's talking about itching professional balls. Professional video. Yo, speaking of professional, if you guys are waiting for all Train Sengoku, there's probably gonna be a banner with him, right? Uh, Scythe? Tech? Yeah, I agree. So mm -hmm. if you guys need stones, dead. In the description. Dead. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys do need stones, hit up Omega Stones in the description on Twitter. Best discounts around, am I right, Speedy? They hook me and my boy up all the time. We're the best service, fastest service. They are the best service. Precisely. So, uh, I think that's all I have for today. You guys have anything else to say? No. Mar March 18th, bro, watch. March 18th. I'm going to give you that one, but last night, that was a little bit too far-fetched. Nah. Bro, everybody <laughs> did it, all right? Listen. No, everybody did bro, not do it. That's all the fuss about. <laughs> You know why? You know why? Uh, cause they knew last night was too like far fetched, so that's why nobody was mad about it. Cause they knew that shit wasn't happening. Everybody, yo, four or five people uploaded videos. There, I don't want to hear it. Oh, a lot of people uploaded. Yeah. All right, but yeah, they yeah. But, but anyway, regardless. guys, that is they all. Go ahead. I'm on Twitter. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, guys. That is all I have for right now. Shout out to my boys right here. I'm Scythe and Speedy SSJ. If you don't know them, I will have their channels down in the description box below. Make sure you go hit my boys with a sub. And without further ado, we are all finished for right now. Peace.